Welcome to the Nitpicky Nerds. This is our second installment where we rank every single commander that has ever existed, and we're going to be ranking commanders number 816 all the way through 767 today. I'm your host, Joe Cherries. And I'm your host, Beezy. And that makes us the Nitpicky Nerds. And uh, if you're thinking, they're ranking every commander, I want to stay subscribed. Uh, just hit the subscribe button. Oh, that's a good idea. And besides, you want to be subscribed because our subscribers are 10% less likely to get offended by subjective opinion. Disclaimer, the Nitpicky Nerds cannot guarantee that you will not get offended by subjective opinions. If you want to know our criteria for judging commanders, go over and watch our intro video because that will get more into detail about how and why everything is ranked the way it is. Right, we're looking at power, fun, artwork, coolness, and uniqueness. There are 50 commanders that come after the 10 worst. So if you haven't seen the first video, check out part one, and this is part two. And uh, when it comes to art, art is subjective. We all five categories are subjective. Oh yeah, all five categories are subjective, but art is specifically very, very subjective. We're going to have different opinions. People might grade an art that we think is a zero as a 10, and that is Vice fine. Versa. Yeah. But you gotta realize this is our opinion. We're trying, we're giving some benefit of the doubt. Yeah, we, we're not just giving things that we hate zeros. Like, okay, they, this is a thing. This is a style. It just won't get a ten. Is all we're saying. Yeah, we we don't. Yeah, we, it's the art that we don't like. And if you like the art, you can apparently just tell us in the comments because that's what right. everyone. Absolutely, asked them. these are going to go a lot faster than the other ones. Um, yeah. Because now we have eight hundred and sixteen. We thought it would be fun to isolate the bottom ten, but now we're getting into it. So let's start with eight sixteen. We have Morphin. Morin Fen. Okay. It's got Flample, uh, except it's got Cumin of Upkeep, so it's terrible. Yeah, it's a, he's a vanilla creature, pretty much. I mean, Flying Trample isn't much. But it got one point for that art. Yep, and that's about it. The card looks bad and is bad. Uh, this card has a great... The next one, 815, has a great name. Jacques Levert, which is Jack the Green. Uh, Jack the Green, he got one point for art. That's all he got. He pumps creatures' butts. That's all he does. It's nothing. Yeah, that's uh, not the most ideal. I mean, obviously, as these commanders get better, which they actually will in this video, we can talk more about them. Yeah. But these guys, like number 814, Zhang Fei, Fierce Warrior. So he's got an art point. Derpy horse face, though. So it pretty much just reads 4 4 unblockable. That's nothing. That That's has no, terrible. There's no power in that. There's, there's no nothing in that. Jovin is next, 813. This is Chandler's little buddy. Chandler, the guy who does candles, maybe. But uh, this guy. Um, can we give him negative points? We decided not to. If we could, because would, of his makeup, he would be negative coolness. This he, is the least cool man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> not that makeup's not cool. Not that guys can't wear makeup. No, right? it's that it just is ridiculous. It looks horrible. It looks like he took like a crayon and just drew on his face. It looks <laughs> well, awful. whoever the artist. But was. he actually got a point for power because destroying uh, non-creature artifacts is actually can right. be relevant. It's a horrible rate, but I think I actually like being able to do it sometimes. Yeah, it's not, right, not right. the worst. We're getting to the two pointers now. 812, Casimir the Lone Wolf. Uh, one cool point for being a lone wolf. Second cool point for having a wolf companion. Of course. And that's it. Because uh, I think this art looks awful. <laughs> We're not fans. That art, that the, the wolf in the background, what a... Ooh. All right, what about the next one? <laughs> the next one, uh, we have 811, the Lady of the Mountain. Cards with lady in their name. Uh, they are not powerful. Yeah. It turns, which is really weird. It is pretty strange. They're all bad. I guess they're all just old, therefore uh, bad. Like, you know, we gotta get these ones out of the way. She's a vanilla 5-5. Five five. The art is okay, I gave it a 2 uh, out of 10. It's that just, about it. It's just stylized. It's I, abstract, we're not huge fans. Yeah. Oh, 810, another lady, Lady Orca, who is literally just a vanilla. And uh, she has one point for art, one point for coolness. Yeah. I don't know what else we need to say. There's just nothing to say about oh, this There's, one, this there's something to say about this guy. There's something to say about this one. This is Gabriel Angelfire. This lazy angel only has flying sometimes when you choose to give it to him. Otherwise, He's he has like sitting. other. He's always sitting. He's just a lazy angel. Uh, angel Fire gave him one point for being. That's a cool name. Nothing else about him is cool. No. Or interesting. Uh, and maybe we need to say this up front. If a commander is terrible and they have nothing else going for them, how could they possibly be fun? Yeah. I mean, so what, these all just have like almost all zeros for fun because there's nothing to work with. If, if you're working with. It's not fun to play something that does nothing. Basically, yeah. That's our. Thoughts on that. Uh, Zun Yu, Way Advisor, number 808. So it's got a one for power and it's got a one for art. Yeah, it can, it, it's like a slight pump to creatures. It's not nothing, it's not great. Um, it's just that it got a point because it literally can, is more useful than pumping green creatures' butts. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's, this is slightly more useful than pumping butts, barely though. Absolutely. 
807. Machao, Western Warrior. Uh, horsemanship. But if he attacks alone, he's unblockable. This is such a funny character to me. Uh, horsemanship pretty much reads already that the creature is unblockable. So when he attacks alone, of course he is unblockable. Double unblockable. <laughs> he's unblockable, unblockable. And his art is okay, which saves him from being one of the worst ever. Yeah, he would be... I wanted to give him a zero art. I hate how the horse's face looks, but BZ saved this man from being the worst ever. 806. Sao Zilong, Tiger General. Another horsemanship legend. There's a million of these for some reason. And the art is okay, but... No, it's not okay. It's meh. Right. Mary Jane Watson might say, uh, go get him, Tiger General. She might. I don't know. She might. Okay. Next one. Uh, 805. Tor Waki. I'm going to make you say all the weird names because it's going to be great every time you try to say uh, it. I, uh, Waki. First three-pointer on the list. Ew. Yep. First three-pointer. Uh, again, he's just... He's got that bow. Now, yeah, he's he, terrible though. He looks like a, he's slightly cool because he's like a cool looking archer. And there's like an explosion, but it looks bad. <laughs> it doesn't even look good. No, Matt, no. Matt, Matt is the best word. He's got Matt-tastic. Two, Matt is the best word for two points of art. It's basically. Uh, 804. Hosder the Ebbet. The only thing worth mentioning is his creepy old guy face. <laughs> That earns him a one in coolness, for sure. Creepy old guy face? Come He's on now. So, he looks so weird. He reminds me of, like, Herbert from Family Guy. He oh. looks so weird. <laughs> I watched an episode of Family Guy today. Weird. I I regret it. Yet. I, I'm sorry. Uh, 803, Irini Sengir. This card looks like a blow-up doll. Uh, and it makes me really uncomfortable. The flavor text is what gives it coolness, uh, though. Uh, yeah, she's like a... Dwarf or something, a she's vampire, a, but also like Sangir's daughter. In she some way. made herself the daughter. Good for you, Irini. Good, good for you making a making being, a living. For, out not, there. for not being the most uncool thing ever. But your art makes me cringe. Vivictus Asmati, our first Elder Dragon, is number eight hundred and two. Come on now, the Elder Dragons. They're ho the old. They're, they're cool, kinda. The old Elder Dragons are horrible, like, horrible, horrible, horrible. Now, I think the only contention here, we know they're bad. We know they're old. We know there's not really much, too much lore on them that's that's crazy. And they're not unique because they're just old and have bad abilities. But some people may say, how do the old dragons not get a 10 for coolness? It's very simple. Uh, we don't care. <laughs> they get a 3 for coolness. They're, but Victus has money is boring. I tried to read, I read his little tidbit of story that is pretty much... They all, have, they all have like a little bit. I mean, obviously Nicol Bolas is going to get coolness. But like Palladia Moors and Vivictus, they're just not... Like Chromium's even cooler. It, Chromium guy got more coolness, but like... This is just meh, so I, I, we're yeah. not huge fans of it. Uh, and that's all he got was coolness points, was three. I mean, being an yeah. Elder Dragon is still pretty cool to an right. extent. It's, it's cool. I have to push just, it off of a zero. Yeah, it's definitely not nothing. It's not as, it's not as lame as dude with, like, an archer bow and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, that guy's pretty lame. Right, right. Well, what's next? Uh, Lu Su, Wu Advisor. Uh, he's got a cool beard. Uh, not the worst art. It doesn't do nothing. Uh, that's, honestly, at this point, that's amazing. He doesn't do nothing? He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't do nothing. If, if we stopped co all commanders right now, this would be the best commander in the format, just with what we have so far, <laughs> which is true of every commander, I guess. Yeah, as, soon, as soon as we list this next one, it'll be the best one we've listed so far. All right. Can, I dare you to list this that, one. That's how Pavel Maliki. <laughs> it's got a cool flavor text, number 800 even. Uh, interest, it's, a, it's like an interesting concept in his flavor text, and that's about it. Yeah. This man is... Nothing Ooh. to write home about. So don't go writing home about Pavel and saying, the New Pikachu Nerds told me to do it. Don't write home about it. Yeah, don't. Stop it. <laughs> Stop writing home about it. You should probably it. just send an email anyway. It's uh, 2019. Come on. This uh, is one of the best names. Uh, this is one of the the, the weird, like, derpiest names ever. Uh, Gasta Dirk. Is it because his name is most of the word derp? Uh, Gasta, Gasta Derp. Gasta Derp. Seven ninety nine. He's cool. He's got the beard. He's got the name. He's got the scar. He's got the scar. That's what gives him coolness. I'm like, let's be clear. Most of the coolness comes from being a cool character. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes you can surpass that by having like a cool representation on your art. Even though this art isn't very good, yeah, he still has a, a scar that makes him look like a he's beefy BA. Right, right, exactly. A, a BA. 798. Maraxis of Keld. Big dummy for six mana. It's just a really big dummy. He's doing his best Bane cosplay. He, he does look like Bane. Like, it's real. It's a weird card. Uh, He's just a big dummy. That's all he, he is. He looks like he has anchor arms. He does look like he has anchor arms. I used to be a wimp. Now I'm a jerk. <laughs> Everybody loves me. And you're wearing your kelp shirt. I am wearing my you're SpongeBob big... reference, if you didn't catch that in the beginning of the video. Uh, yeah, so there's a SpongeBob reference. I'm sure BDO pumps out back on camera for it. Maybe just for that. All, all right. right. 797. 
Jawari, the Earth of Flame, one of the first absolute trash Kamigawa throwaway legends that will be plentiful in the next 50 or the next 100 or so. There's like 800,000 Kamigawa legends, and they're all not good. Uh, At least for power. Yeah. Some of them are really, some of them are really cool, but not this one. This art's not bad. That's about it, and the story is not nothing. And that's Maybe. about it. There's nothing to discuss with. There's just, <laughs> it's like, so hard. There's so it little actually kills things. So we gave it a power point because like, it can actually pick off ground creatures just so slow. Coming up, 796 here. We got. Dromar the Banisher. The first of the 6-6 six, six dragon cycle. These dragons are horrible. They're all not good. Uh, this one, the, the, why, why? <laughs> this one is so bad. <laughs> like, at least they, like, if the other ones connect, they get to do something good. But this one bounces, when it connects, you can bounce. <laughs> it does 40% of something okay. <laughs> yeah, and it bounces itself if you pick any color in Esper. Right, it bounces all creatures of a chosen color. Well, if you pick black, white, or um, blue, you got to bounce Dromar. <laughs> That's horrible. Like, the fact that they bounce themselves like that is just, make, this is what makes this card not good and pushes them down solo on this list. Uh, yeah. Now we have our first four-pointer. We have Jidat Ojanen. Story is there. Art is there. Neither are impressive. Yeah, like, there's just not, there's these, these old legends, like, they're the representation of a single character who exists and they just, there's no story for them. Like, what is that? Like, the idea is like, this it's more of like make a personality on the card because Legends had a lot of a lot of weird stuff going on. Le like, like our friend was telling us Legends was the first sort of like you can attach yourself to this character because they do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, this is what this character does. Right, so they didn't have to necessarily do anything. Speaking of not doing anything, 794, Johan looks like Darth Maul. Yeah, that gives him some cool but points. But I mean, he doesn't get a 10 because first of all, I don't know if Darth Maul's a 10 for coolness. Uh, Maybe he he's a 9.5. He's a 10. Second of all, get your own look, man. You don't need to rip off of Darth Maul. I like Phantom that. Menace hadn't even come out yet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because he stole from it. Right. It's completely, completely unacceptable. Uh, also, he this character is weird. It's like he, your creatures have vigilance as long as he doesn't attack with them. What? 793, Rashka the Slayer. Slay queen, as they say. As they say. Uh, this one just got a, it's a three night one of coolness. I mean, this is our best artwork up to date. It might be. It's, I think so. I mean, it would have to be because everything only has four points. <laughs> and this says like 75% of them are hard. So yeah. best art up to date. Can't say a ton after that. Ward Magnus, same thing. Uh, uh, weird bug man, useless text on him. Yeah. He has first strike though. So this is an example of like getting points for being drawn decently because like this art I think is just stupid. It, it looks not, it doesn't look good, but it's like, well, all the core pieces are there. The guy, the guy knew what he was doing. It's just they probably gave him the worst art direction ever. Right, so they're make up... a weird bug man. Uh, okay, uh, weird bug man. Uh, Speaking okay. of weird bug man, this has nothing to do with anything. Huang Zong, shoes general, shoes general is what I said. He's the general of shoes. Seven ninety one, uh, more of the same. It's okay. Good art. I mean, okay, good mediocre art for what we're going to be dealing with right now. Ooh, but this guy's got a cool beard. He's got a beard. The be beards are cool. Um, In our notes, it says this time a beard. <laughs> Need, need we say more? <laughs> need we say more? One point of coolness for that beard. Ooh, next lady. Ripping off of a human name. This is Bridget, hero of Kinsbale, 790. I don't like this art. It makes me uncomfortable, but it's like, it's still fine. Like, it's good art. It's weird art. But it makes me uncomfortable. It also makes me uncomfortable. Right, Zhang Liao, hero of Hefi. Forget everything we said. 789. Overpriced Spectre. Great. That's it. I mean, being a Spectre is not a nothing ability. It's, but it is kind of unique. Not too many people get unique points. Yeah, he gets the, he, he hits. Yeah, there's not very specters. There's like this and- There's like Ergaros is a specter. And this. Ergaros is so much higher on this list. Yeah, like if you're thinking, but Ergaros isn't even that good. Yep. <laughs> there's a lot of commanders out there. Yep, this All guy, right. he's overpriced. He, also, he's weaker because he doesn't have any evasion as a specter. Yeah. Uh, we have Paraj of Urborg, 788. It's like cat dancing. And it can kind of get big if you cast spells. This kind of has like one point in everything, except obviously power. Oh yeah, this is the one that looks like she, the cat is voguing, doing the vogue. Yeah, and she gets counters so, when you cast black spells. Yeah, it's so it's weird. It's interesting. So, you give it a couple points across the board. And get, no, yeah. Nothing to write home. It got like one in everything, and it's not for power because, I don't know, making the cat slightly bigger isn't, it's basically nothing. <laughs> this next one, one of the first upon many we disagreed with and had a tiny argument over. Buckneer Deathlock, 787. Uh, 
BZ made me give him points in art. Yeah, he made me, because I would never have given this card any points in art. It's perfectly art. Meh. It's, no. To me, I, <laughs> it is art. I can't stand that art. Oh, oh It's so hideous. Yeah. Uh, speaking of only getting points for being an Elder Dragon, we had mentioned this before, Palladium Wars is, is on the list for the first time. She's, but, she's poop. But this art isn't as bad as Victus Osmani's weird art. Yes, it is slightly not as terrible. Only slightly, though. 785, Sima Yi, We Field Marshal. Uh, she's a really tiny field marshal. She's a dwarf. She's a she's a wee a wee field marshal, <laughs> or I think a way field marshal. Uh, cool beard. Uh, and I said she, and definitely he. <laughs> cool beard. This is definitely yeah. he. <laughs> cool beard. Okay, what's what's? Uh, you're, there's no way you're reading this name. Uh, Sun Ashton Falconer, seven eighty four. He's got sword and magic. Uh, the yeah. art's all right. So yeah, yeah, it's all right, and he uses both magic and. Sword. I thought that was kind of cool. That Good enough to get both. five points. Ten percent of the maximum number of points. Yeah. So that's not again. Good uh, on you. Oh, uh, so Christian, many of these cards. The best thing is. to say about them is this card is not nothing. Yeah. Uh, it's basically the four cards were designed for commander. It's a little iffy, but that's what makes it so fun. Yeah. We get to laugh along. We with get us. to go around all of these. Take a trip down memory lane. Laugh with us. Read about Torsten von Ursus, number seven eighty three, who has a cool mustache. And what does he look like? He's saying. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, it is. I know exactly who he is. I, you don't even have to pull him out. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he looks like. He looks like he's saying, like, he looks like a stereotypical, like, cartoon bad guy from the 50s and 60s. Old timey villain. Oh, it's great. I I actually, I adore that he looks like that. Um, if that card actually was any sort of decent, I would consider playing it because I, like, I adore that, like, look so much. Meow. Yeah. We, we adore that look. Gave it a three. <laughs> Yeah, I know we gave it a three. Because it still is poop. I mean, it's still, it's, it's. I don't think it's done that well, but I feel like if they literally made that character with, like, the updated art that I like, I would literally want to play it, even if it was, like, a medium character. Yeah, like a six mana nothing. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Princess Lucrezia, 782. It's a mana dork. LSV was actually making fun of uh, some of these mana dorks on, like, a video he posted, like, a day ago. Really? Yeah, he was talking about... The like five seven for seven that taps for a mana. I think it was because he was like maybe he was reviewing uh, the M twenty set review and he was like speaking of like legends that have abilities for complete absolutely no reason. Yeah, this is a uh, one of two of these overcosted Demir dorks. Yeah, kind of confusing. Weird that there's two of them. To each his own. Uh, we have seven eighty one. We have Veldrin of Sangir. Uh, this guy. This guy got three points in coolness, purely just for the eye patch. Oh, he looks he looks cool because of that eye patch. It really it, it gives ties him, the room together. It does. It ties him together. Uh, this art it gets a two. I'm not a it's big a person. I'm not a big fan of the style of this art. Um, it's not actually like a. It's like a weird like abstract kind of like his face is in the background, but also he's standing against a tree. It's like a '70s or '80s like photo shoot. Yeah, it's, it it's, looks hilarious. It's kind of it's weird. It um, makes me laugh. Doesn't make me go great art. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Next, Zhao Yu, Chief Commander. Uh, decent art, and there's nothing to really speak of on this card other than the fact that it's just the art is done well. Hold up, best art so far. We got a new front runner for best art. Uh, well, how about we have an even better art? You got the same points, but this one's better. It's another lady though. Seven seventy nine, Lady Sun. Uh, exactly. Nothing to speak about on this card except for the art, which uh, we just kind of like. Yeah, just, it's just it, like we've actually reached the point where things have average arts. Yeah, and like this art, um, this is one of those arts where I could see someone arguing that it's better than what we gave it. Yeah, I mean, and that's fair. You're allowed to argue that we're absolutely. Incorrect. I want to, I want to talk about it. I actually want to talk about this list. I'm sure we'll get a bunch of comments. Like that'll be fun. Yeah, like I think this art is good. It's just not my favorite. It's just not my. It's not my style of art that I would like to see. And now somebody in the last video predicted that this would be the next worst of the top ten. You were wrong, but you were like really close. Tani Wa, seven seventy eight. Why? I, I don't want my lands to phase out. I like my lands. So there is a. F I, I feel like you, with your lands phasing out, you could potentially do something with that. That's in why it's mono, good. In mono some... blue, you can like upheaval, I guess. But how do you have the mana? Because all your lands are gone. Isn't upheaval banned? Well, something like that. Like, I'm just. That's the first thing I thought of. Yeah, I mean, you have to do something at instant speed on your upkeep of. I think there's like a five mana instant that bounces all lands or something. Yeah, Some absolute nonsense. I, mean, I don't know. It, it gets a two for uniqueness. Uh, the art isn't terrible. 
It's but it's whatever. It's borderline terrible. It's borderline terrible. Lucky number seven 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 is next. Who is that? Uh, this is Chow Mano Revolutionary. Wow, this guy is useless. He doesn't take damage. Yep. Uh, wow. But preventing things is not unique, and therefore he has no uniqueness. Most of the times when creatures get destroyed, it's not from damage. So, I mean, he's an infinite chump blocker. Who? Who? Is that whatever. what you want, in Commander? Oh wait. No. Nope. It's not at all. That's why he's so low. Now, see, originally, before Iona was banned, this guy was number 777. And it's funny because he gets plus 7, plus 7 when he blocks. But they completely ruined everything. So now Jareth Leonin Titan is just randomly at 776. Oh, it wasn't even on purpose that he was at 777. No, it wasn't. It was just like, it was a cool coincidence that I wanted to bring up. But now he's 776. Thanks, Iona. Thanks a lot. Thanks for getting banned, Iona. Uh, this is one of our, like... First fun points. It's one of our first fun points. We, there's been a couple others, but like, this is like, a, like it's kind of cool. It's, it's, it's actually like, like kind of cool. He can protect himself from like spot removal and stuff, but like he also just gets big and giant on defense, which is it's weird. It's a card called Righteousness. I think it's one mana. It's like a blocking creature that's plus seven, plus seven. I think that's what it's called. It's a weird instant from like an old core set. Look it up if you want to read weird instants that I already read to you. Okay. Uh, number 775. Cow. Kylo Ren. <laughs> Wii Commander. <laughs> Wii Commander? Nintendo! What? It's the Wii Commander. <laughs> oh, sure. He's a 3-3 three, three for 4 with downside. What What do? <laughs> yeah, we wrote what do. Yeah, it's one of our favorite exclamations when you're just like, you have no idea what to say. Yep. Yeah, uh, two for coolness. Like... So Unblockability, I, we don't think it's unique. It's been on a million things so far, as you've seen. And it's it's not strong enough to get a, po a point based on our system for giving power points. So check like check out the video if you're just like confused. But it's not a threat. It's nothing. 774, Riven Turnbull. He's the other Jimmy here, Man of Dork. Obviously, there's two of them. Why would there not be? We like this one way better. Yeah, because he has really cool flavor text. He's also got a cool name. Riven Turnbull. I don't know why it's so cool. It sounds really cool. Uh, read that flavor text. Political violence is a perfectly legitimate answer to the prosecution handed down by dignitaries of the state. Yep, Joe thinks that's cool. I do think that's cool. Well, that's good for you. I like that. I like the flavor text so much. I don't know. If you like big words. <laughs> I like number seven seventy three. Not really, but I just wanted to move on from that crap. Masamuro, first to live. This is the first ever guy to live. Great. Uh, he's a big fat fatty, around hand size. Mono green, so... That's and also when we say Big Fat Fatty, we were referring to power and toughness. Yep. Exclusively. Oh, the Kieran cycle. Bounteous Kieran. Oh, this is definitely the worst of these Kieran. Seven mana for a 4-4 four, four flyer, and then you gain life? Obviously it has no fun or no... and no cool... Like, or, or no power. Ugh. And no coolness. It just has good art, and like, it's sort of unique. Kind of. It's got flying and it's green flyer basically. We don't even disc like life gain is whatever life, and life, uh, life spirit gain, and arcane is trash. Life gain and mono green is nothing. It's, ugh. You can't, now, there's, no, there's no payoffs. This is this is a milestone on the list. This is a milestone. You want to know why? Uh, Can you tell me why? It's a milestone because this card came out the most recent so far. Yes, this not is even an close. actual recent card that came out that is legal in Commander. Uh, Amara Tandris, seven seventy one. Good drawing. Uh, this card was absolute miss in every possible way because it got changed last minute. Uh, because it was supposed to be Voice of Resurgence. That card would have been awesome in Commander. Not even that good. Just just awesome. Yeah. It would have way more cool points. Because the Elemental's in the background. Um, yeah, the Elemental's in the background, but this card just, like, is awful. And also the art has some weird, like, both perspectives, and it's... it's She's it looks, just standing... Just, she doesn't... She's, Actually, she's not a 5-7. She's like a person. Yeah, also look at that art uh, and look at what it actually looks like. It's not actually very good. Like, it's okay. It, it's enough to get. It's enough not to be the worst, but it's like, it's, some of it is weirdly bad. Yeah. We're almost done here. What's the uh, the fourth last one we have for you? Uh, we've got we've got Takano Samurai General. <laughs> An overcosted Samurai Commander. Weirdly has the word points in the text. Not very many cards have the word point. For each point of bu Bushido. Bushido. What a weird wording. Um, this might be fun if you didn't have 800,000 better options. 
Uh, samurai. There's so many samurai commanders. Ugh, I'm so sick of like we got real. We got real sick of samurai. Real quick. There's a lot on this list. You, you don't realize you, Kamigawa was actually just Kamigawa. Boom. What a what a mess for us on this list. Ugh, yeah. Seven sixty nine. Aisha Tanaka. Still no power because this ability is ugh. weirdly counters artifact abilities if they don't have a, a white lying around. But you gotta tap it, and this is a four mana two two, and it has banding, so it loses point <laughs> it loses points. All right. So the main thing about this character is that it is unique. Mana abilities can't be targeted. Oh. Other artifacts have activated abilities, and that's why she's okay. And gets actual points for uniqueness. Like it's a weirdly unique card that's Somehow even bad. though the uniqueness isn't so very good. It's, it's about as good as Norn's Annex, and I think that card is horrible. Alright, what do we got? We got his It's Kozilek Jr. Hisako Minimo Sensei. Ah, Hisoka Minimo Sensei. Minimo Sensei. You tried. 768. This is the worst version of Kozilek, great distortion, but it's pretty unique. Uh, it's it just has a really bad ability. There's not that many commanders that you counter stuff. Let me tell you the difference between Kozilek and this guy. Uh, three mana is a ton of mana. Yes. To, to Can't tap out for him. He just doesn't, he's not very good. No. He also puts you into this mono blue build. But, uh, Slightly fun. He also, he puts you into the colors that have the most counters. Right. So it's you like, can discard your for counter. For three mana, you can discard a card and counter a spell. Or you can tap out for this guy and then wait a turn. And then for three mana, you can counter something. I don't know. Yeah, it's awful. And this is the last one. This, we like to affectionately, what do we call this card? This is Opali Kondo's Yojimbo. Yeah. Yojimbo. Uh, it's actually what, uh, Yojimbo or whatever. <laughs> Yojimbo. I don't know. It's Yojimbo. It actually is means like a bodyguard. Yeah, it's like a bodyguard. But we like to say Yojimbo. Like it's we pretend it's an Italian fox. This is a weird defender duder. And top of the list for today. Yeah, for the day. He's for so, this segment. As far as you know, yeah. As far as you know, this is the best commander we have. <laughs> uh, he's he got coolness for being a fox. Foxes are sweet. Fox a, fox, a fox samurai is cool. That is like, cool. Samurais kind of started losing coolness points when I realized there were 7,000 of them. We adjusted accordingly. We did adjust accordingly, but a fox samurai, that's cool. Come on now. Yeah, he reflects damage, but preventing damage, as we've said before, is it's not fun. strong, it's not fun, it's not unique. It's basically butt. And uh, that's it for today. That uh, is our list. Super quick. Uh, we want to give a shout out to our patrons. There's no way that was super quick. <laughs> super quick. I, I don't know, that was like 10 minutes, I think. Shout out to our patrons. We love you guys. Uh, we need to sign off now. Yeah, you guys are all awesome. Um, is there, I feel like I wanted to say something at the end here. But, oh, we want to know your predictions. What is going to be 766? What is the next card on this list? Tell us and we want tell to... us what commander you're rooting for to be number one or in the top. Oh, yes. Give us, start giving us predictions for like higher in the list. Like, yeah, we want predictions and we want your favorite. That's basically it. And you can leave those in the comments. Peace out, Tribe Scout. <laughs>